Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to what we call a control sheet, and just go over the basic parts, and then I'm going to show you uh, how to put together one part of the of the control sheet. I'm doing this video for my cat tech, Nikki. There you go, Nikki. There's your shout out. So, uh, what we need to do. Um, First of all, when we're ready to do a control sheet. So what is a control sheet? A control sheet is um, a sheet that could be included, for example, in a set of engineering plans that shows the survey control points and related information. Okay. So uh, if we've got a project and we want to add the control sheet, what we're going to do is we're going to come into uh, RH templates, RH CAD, and we're going to grab this folder, control sheet, Okay, and then we're actually going to copy that over to the job. Okay, because uh, the control sheet is a, a mapping work product, it's going to go in the mapping folder. So we're going to paste it right in here, control sheet. Okay, and you'll know in, notice in that folder there are three drawings. So this is for PTs for your point table. This is your uh, control sheet, and this is your control diagram. Okay, and those are part of what goes into a control sheet. So if we open this drawing here, the control sheet, let's just go ahead and do that. We can take a look at, we can see what this looks like. <clears throat> okay, so here's what it looks like. I'm gonna, this is a uh, Bricks CAD that I'm gonna pop open here, maybe. All right, so here's what it looks like, guys, when you get it into, uh, when you get it open in Bricks CAD. <clears throat> I'm going to rename the sheet. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about the parts here. So you've got the uh, the local control points. So this is the primary control, typically on site. There might be some off site control, but this is the local stuff. Then we almost always have tied to some cores or PBO stations, some active what we call active stations. That goes down here. Uh, that's our control diagram. Uh, then we've got our point table, it just shows our point number, northern inksting, elevation description, so our coordinates and descriptions. Uh, then we have our notes, and then down here we have our legend, line types, and units. Okay, so I'm not going to go into detail on the point table and the control diagram in this uh, video because I have uh, separate videos on that. So I've got a separate video. It shows you how to create this control diagram and another video that walks you through how to do point tables. We create this in Carlson um, in BricsCAD now because that's what we do our finished drafting in. And then, uh, of course, this is just our title block over here, what they call the title block. So what I wanted to focus on in this video was just how you set up this uh, view with your local control points. Um, typically, my CAD tech is not going to do these notes here. Uh, this is going to be done by the project surveyor. Uh, although a more experienced uh, uh, survey, what I would call survey technician, could go in and, and uh, pull this information out of the control survey report. Hopefully it's done by the time we're doing the control sheet. So I'm not going to show you that in this video either. But what we will do is we'll, shut, we'll, we'll set up this view. Now in this particular uh, template, uh, the, the uh, stuff that appears in this viewport here, the local control point viewport, is in, the, is in model space. But... <clears throat> That's okay for a small job, but on a bigger job, we want to go ahead and set up a, a control anno drawing uh, because we may reuse the control anno in different exhibits. Okay, so I want to show you how to set that up. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to our template folder, uh, and we're going to grab our Bricks CAD template. Uh, so it's right here, Bricks template. And we're going to copy that, <clears throat> and then we're going to come up uh, to control, so sorry, field control, and uh, we're going to paste this right in the root, and this is going to be our control anno, so CTL anno, and then we put the scale at the end of the anno, so this is actually 1000 scale anno drawing because it's a big job. Okay, so that's going to be uh, where where we do most of our work, and what happens is this will end up getting x ref'd in uh, to this drawing uh, to, to fill out this viewport. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get that anno drawing set up here. 
So we're going to go ahead and just open that in BricsCAD. <clears throat> okay, and uh, this shouldn't even be, I apologize, this should not be in our BricsCAD template. Okay, so we're going to come over here to model. The BricsCAD template should be should be blank, so somebody s saved over it, and I, I actually, I think it was me. <laughs> so I'll have to clean that up. All right, so what we want to do now, when you open the BricsCAD template, it should look like this. So what we want to do is we want to um, insert in our uh, control point drawing. Uh, and there's another video where I've set that up. So uh, if you, uh, I'll try and remember to link to the uh, YouTube description. Link in the description for this video on YouTube to that other video, or maybe hopefully Laura can remind me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert in, uh, as an XREF, our uh, control point drawing. Okay, and that is going to be in the Carlson folder at my shop. It'll be in Carlson. Um, i got to be in the right job, though. Uh, and it'll say CTL for control. Okay, and this is just the control drawing with the points in it. And we're just going to XREF it because at the, when we're done, we're going we're gonna to pull it out. Okay, so here's my primary control points. This is just a font display error that you get sometimes in, in BricsCAD. <clears throat> so you can see it's got the points and the description. And this is at the true location. So this is state plane. You can tell down here I'm 6 million by 2 million. Okay, so the first step to, to getting this uh, anno drawing set up is to just insert our block. So we've got a control symbol block that we're going to insert right here, control point. Um, now, we're at a thousand scale, so that means um, that the scale is either uh, gonna, it should be 1,000, uh, but it might end up being 100. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember if we, we'll see. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, okay, so no, that, that looks like it's the right size. So those, those blocks are size. So you just scale it up by whatever your scale is. In this case, it's a, it's a thousand. And we're just gonna drop it right on the point there. And, and don't worry about covering up this leader because we're going to use a different uh, way to, to generate our labels for our monuments for our local point uh, view there. So we're just going to copy these over. And you know, you could place these with field to finish, but uh, we generate in Carlson, but we generally don't have that many primary control points. This is a big job. We only have eight. Okay, so that's the first step. All right, so those are done. Now, uh, we want to create some nice looking labels. Uh, like this and we can do that in Carlson so this is automated we don't have to do that by hand so what I'm gonna do just because I've got my screen recorder software going and, it, and it's somewhat heavy is I'm just gonna close BricsCAD for now <clears throat> and uh, we'll open up Carlson what we're gonna do is we're gonna create those labels right in the point drawing and then we're gonna W block them out <clears throat> Alright guys, you're going to have a little pause in the video there, sorry. Uh, sometimes I have to stop my screen recording software so my cat will load. <clears throat> so I've got the control drawing open in Carlson now. Um, we created this in, a, in another video, I'll try and remember to have Lori link to it in the, in the description for this video on YouTube. But it's just, this is our primary control with some simple labels. Um, so one of the things that, that we want to do is um, we want to um, go ahead and add uh, the labels for for uh, the, the prettier labels. Uh, so it's going to look a little bit like this, but it's going to be prettier. It's going to have the northing and easting. So the way you do that is under the annotate. So it's not under points. It's under annotate. Um, and it's uh, label, coordinates, and elevation. And what you want to do is you, if you're in my shop is you want to load this setting right here, RH control point label because it has all this stuff set up. Okay, so it, it'll, it's set up to label the uh, elevation, it's got the prefixes in, it's gonna use MTEX with a leader, and it's gonna um, use commas. So this is all set up the way you want, uh, the way we want, okay? But you can customize this the way you would like. Um, this should actually be point one. We should both be, be point one. So let's save those. 
Okay, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit OK, and then you're just gonna enter the point number. So I'm gonna start with six, because it's right here. It wants you to confirm the description, and then it just creates this text, which looks really uh, beautiful. Okay, now the only thing I notice is I like to have a little space there. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that. So I need to add a, a white space character there, and we'll save that change again. Okay, so again, enter the point number. You can also click, but if, if you just click this, this point, it won't give you the, uh, the, the point number. So that's why I'm entering the point number. Okay, so that looks better. Um, it'd be nice if we had the foot tick on the end, right? So obviously I, I don't have this uh, set up all the way. So let's try it again. And uh, we want to put a suffix here. We just want the foot tick. <coughs> Okay, now let me just show if you just click into space, it'll prompt you for a description. And it, it'll give you a label there, just no point number, right? So that's why we got it, that's why we have to enter the uh, the point number. Okay, so let's do that again. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna hit okay, type six for the point number, hit enter again to accept the description that's already on the point. Okay, and then it just reruns this command. So I can do number one, enter on the description. Okay, two, enter on the description. Three, enter on the description. And four, enter on the description. Five, enter on the description. I think I've got eight control points for this job. Uh, let's see, seven and eight. Okay, so you can see this goes pretty quick, right? It's way faster than doing these labels by hand. Okay, now don't worry, they're not on the right layer. That's okay, because they're not gonna stay in this drawing. This is our control drawing, not our handout drawing, right? So we're gonna select the text and the leaders, and we're gonna say edit. Uh, uh, you know what, we gotta W block these out, I think. Sometimes uh, you can you can copy from Carlson to BricsCAD, and sometimes it causes you trouble. Let's open this Anno and see if it'll let us if it'll let us just paste them paste them across. If it won't, we'll have to W block them out. <laughs> All right, so let's see if it'll paste across here. We're gonna go edit, paste to original. Oh man, I might. Uh, let's see, it doesn't like this, and it might be because I'm running this screen record software. Let's try again. Edit, copy, standard copy. Let's try edit, I'm sorry, edit uh, clipboard. Where's that clipboard? Edit, uh, copy. And then let's see if we can, if it'll paste across here. Yeah. All right. It doesn't want to do it. It might be because I'm running that screen recording software. So uh, that's okay. What we can do is uh, we'll say edit, selection set, select similar, and then we're just going to run uh, the W block command. And we're going to tell it to drop this into the control folder. Yep. And I'm just going to call it SLB labels because we're going to get rid of this here pretty quick. Okay, so it should have W blocked them out. So now we should just be able to insert those as a block and explode them. So I'm going to go find the labels that we uh, that we blocked out. W blocked out. Okay, I'm going to just insert those at zero zero. Okay, so there they are. Now we can just grab them and explode them. 
Okay, now <clears throat> what we want to do is get these on the right uh, layer. So we're going to say edit. I can just right click here. Oop. Yeah, well, let me do it. I want to select similar. Okay, and then we need to put these on our text layer. Okay, which we don't have in here yet. Okay, <clears throat> but if you want to cheat, and I'm going to cheat, so I know in Carlson, those got created on that CRD text layer. Okay, so we can just rename that. Okay, so this is going to be survey control text. And we'll give it a color that works in our CTB. Okay, so you can see those now, those come in at the right color. Now, what I can do, since I know I've got my labels in, is we're just going to close this control drawing and not save the changes so we don't have those extra labels in it. Okay. <clears throat> and then in here, I can actually go in now and detach the control drawing because I've got my symbols and my labels. Now, the last thing to clean up here is uh, we don't want, this is just a wipeout. And so you want to move the leaders to the edge of that wipeout. Uh, we don't want the leaders uh, running over the top of the symbol because Carlson puts them right at the at the center of the point object. So we'll just move those out. Uh, and there's probably a little setting in Carlson that'll put in a buffer there. I have to I can go look at that. So you can you can probably fix this so that Carlson puts in a little buffer, a little spacer. Okay, but I only had eight, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so uh, those look good to me, I think. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that. And if you want to see what it looks like without the, you can um, hit your wipeout and then go F for frames and type off. And then you can see how it looks. It's got that nice spacing in it with the wipeout turned off. Okay, so that's our control anode drawing. We can save that now and uh, we can open up our uh let's see we're gonna open up our oh man we're gonna open up our control diagram again okay you gotta remember now that's the actual sheet the, the work product so it's back in here the control sheet sorry not the control diagram so we'll open that up okay and so what we've done now is we've set up this view here so I can delete this because we have them in a separate drawing now. And what I want to do is I want to create a layer to hold our XREF. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use this layer right here. So this is uh, at my shop. We say XREF control anno, and we always make our XREF layers blue. Okay, now I can insert that. Um, Control Anno drawing. Okay, which is in field control. So, oh, we can delete this label drawing. We don't need that anymore. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to insert it at zero, zero. Okay, so this is some old stuff here. Okay, so here's the, the stuff that we inserted. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to grab that and put it on the extra flare that we made. Try and do good, good housekeeping here. Okay, so we can save this now. And when we go back to our uh, paper space tab, layout tab, we're going to make this viewport active. Is it locked? No. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is zoom extents. Okay, so there, there it's at zoom extents. Now I know this was set up to be one over a thousand, so I'm going to type zoom one over a thousand XP. Okay, and what that means is uh, my viewport isn't big enough uh, to fit all my points. Okay, so that's a bummer. <laughs> so you got to ask yourself what you can do about that. Um, so what I can probably do about that is um, do a little bit of rearranging here, and that's why we have a layout grid. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my layout grid, and what we can do here is we can move these notes down. So this, this shows you guys the power of a layout grid. So I'm going to move these notes down now. 
Okay, and uh, that that's going to allow me to move the point table down. Okay, and what that's going to uh, hopefully let me do is um, increase uh, the size of this viewport. So now I can take this viewport all the way across the top. So this is this is why we use a layout grid at my shop. Okay, so then we can just type layer P for layer previous. Okay, so you can see now uh, we've got a bigger viewport. So that's why we like it, like using our layout grid. Okay, now uh, the question. So I'm at zoom zoom um, zoom one over a thousand. So all the points fit east west. They just won't fit north south. So, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this label right here. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this viewport because I think I like where I have it. Okay, and I know this one label has to come up. So uh, to get this to fit, oh, and that's in our control anno drawing. So we gotta uh, we gotta open that. So if you just type your xref, you can actually open it from right in here. Okay, so I know that this has to move up. Okay, so I'm going to just pull it up here and then we can adjust this leader. Okay, and then we'll save that. And when we come back to our control sheet drawing, it'll prompt us to reload. Okay, and uh, so we're going to save it. Come over to our control sheet. And now you can see it fits. Okay, so the one thing I don't have in here is we'll 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 add an imagery background. Now we're in the process of flying this, so we don't have our own UAV imagery yet. We will, but we've got a one foot resolution um, uh, ortho photo. I can't remember if it's USGS imagery or if it's from from Hexagon, but we've got some background imagery that we'll show in here, so you'll be able to see the background imagery. And that we'll probably do is we'll throw some road names on here. We'll put that in the control anno drawing. We'll throw some road names on. Okay, and then we'll get the point table updated and we'll update the notes. And uh, we'll also get a current control diagram in here. And this thing will be done. But So anyways, that's how you lay out a control sheet. Uh, hopefully this video uh, helps Nikki. And uh, hopefully it will also uh, inspire other surveyors um, to see how they can put together control sheets. Right? I think... Uh, this is really important, especially on big jobs. It's important to have a control sheet and a control survey report. So I know that went a little longer than my normal video, guys, but I appreciate you hanging there and, uh, and being patient with me. Thanks for watching.